Hello, I'm Melinda Moore, and I'm the NSA's, National Security Agency's STEM advocate for the Research Directorate, and we are excited to be here at the North America Championship and to be the Titanium sponsors. Computer science is a um, underpinning of talent for two of our main missions, signals intelligence and cybersecurity. So it's a great opportunity for us to be here with the top computer science students from across the country at the NAC. And we're thrilled to be able to provide two challenge problems for these students, a little different than what they're used to with the ICPC challenges. Uh, our two challenges are one is a software reverse engineer problem, and the other is an encryption algorithm, encryption security tool uh, that we open sourced. Um, and we presented about Ghidra, which is a SRE, Software Reverse Engineer tool that we open sourced just this past year. So we're here to educate the students, to give them a great learning experience, working with these unique problems, to tell them a little bit about our mission, um, rather than working for industry, industry type problems that they're used to, uh, supporting our warfighters, uh, defending our nation, um, the giving them a little taste of our mission and chance to solve similar problems that, that they might encounter working for us. So I've been at NSA for over 30 years um, and I started actually as an Air Force officer. It was my first duty assignment and worked there active duty for seven years and then uh, switched to reserves and now I'm civilian with NSA. So obviously I like it here um, and my husband is also uh, works for NSA and um, we believe in the mission, we believe in the work that we do and it's a really great place to work. Um, so we're giving a technical face to our agency. Um, we are have a large um, strong technical workforce, both military and civilian, and it's just an honor to be here to, um, to challenge these students, to prepare them for the ICPC, and we look forward to working with students and professors and coaches over the coming months and hopefully be back next year. So I wanted to highlight our little slick sheet that we gave to the students that provides information about our challenge problems, has links to Ghidra and SPEC uh, that I mentioned, the security tools that I mentioned earlier that NSA developed and open sourced. Um, at code.nsa.gov are some other open source tools that we've developed and encourage the students to learn those techniques and tools uh, so that they can um, secure their programming as they're um, moving in their uh, their careers. Uh, also wanted to highlight Codebreaker Challenge. It's a challenge that our operations directorate, um, some um, folks from our operations directorate developed and every fall from September to January, schools from across the country, students have an opportunity to participate. Uh, so if you're interested in participating next fall, you can look online, Codebreaker Challenge. Uh, I think it's at ltsnet.net, same um, platform as we're using for this challenge. And uh, participate. Uh, dashboard, similar to what we use today for this NAC challenge, will show the lead schools and individuals participating in Codebreaker. And it's a seven-step, um, some hard uh, reverse engineer um, problems that they can try and solve over a longer period. So we encourage you to, uh, to join us with that problem set as well. My name is Leanne Ma. I work at NSA. I'm a hiring manager. Um, the NSA is a great place to work because of the mission we have. Um, where all in the world can you watch on the news uh, the Sony attack, but internally you're working on the event that's happening in the real, real world, we're trying to figure out who did it, how did they do it, and sharing the information with the stakeholders that we're legally allowed to share with. And sometimes um, we are doing things that are saving lives because we are providing intelligence for folks at theater, so it's meaningful. Um, as opposed to when I was in the private sector, I worked for a big company where I was producing a software product. So it's just a usual, usual uh, life cycle of a product where you search on it and then you kind of ramp down and then you ramp back up. So to me, it's a mission first, so it's um, meaningful, more meaningful in my opinion. So that would be one thing. Um, I think the second thing would be um, I like the job stability and flexibility, the ability to try different things and work on different things and um, to move laterally within an organization and see what I like. And I would say third thing would be the education benefits. Um, we have great education benefits. Um, a lot of folks who join us with a bachelor's degree, they end up going back to get their master's degree or PhD. Uh, there are many different opportunities you can take, take advantage of. 
Um, also, um, flexibility in the sense that after your first two years, you are uh, pretty much out of probationary period, and you can move around pretty easily. If you find a job, um, if you don't like your supervisor or you find another job that you like, you can just apply, and if you get it, you just go. You can go to other sites that we have, like Colorado, Texas, Hawaii, Georgia. Or if you ever want to live abroad, there are opportunities to do that too. So you can commit to a few years living abroad and working abroad for a couple of years. So those will be great opportunities to carve out what you want to do. There are also opportunities to be liaison with other three letter acronym agencies. So, so those are pretty good options to have. So that's what I mean by flexibility, the ability to try different things and move laterally and see what you like. And I would say, finally, um, the last thing would be work-life balance. Uh, we have pretty good uh, uh, benefits in terms of the amount of um, annual leave, federal holidays, um, all kinds of different leaves that you will get. Uh, you start off with two weeks of uh, vacation, two weeks of federal holidays, two weeks of sick leave. On top of that, you have morale building activity hours, you have weather related closing. So all in all, you probably get at least eight weeks to start off with. And after just three years of service, you get probably another two weeks. So that's a significant amount of time off that you get. And also, uh, they just instituted a new program last year, actually, where um, you're allowed to take three hours off, off to work out every uh, week at company time. So. Um, so I think that's a pretty good balance. And the work hours in most offices are pretty flexible. The core hours are 10 to 2 usually. And so that allows you to have the flexibility to come in at the time that works for your personal uh, lifestyle or your family. My best piece of advice if you're looking for a job is to find something you're passionate about that, that really uh, speaks to you and pursue it.